Good afternoon to you too, Mnom. I see a correct 15, 15 cases here in the Eastern Cape. But for these traders, it's their daily living and um, it's, it's something that they really depend on to live on. They have to feed large numbers of families in order for them to make a living. They have to be on the streets. They've accused um, the government of not assisting them with, what, with, with these needs, such as selling, selling these fruits and vegetables. It's their daily living, Nompu. The, we're, we're coming to you live now from the Buffalo City Fruit and Bread Produce, where they, where they normally pile up their stock market to sell on, the, on taxi ranks and fruits uh, and um, areas where they, can, they are able to sell. But tell us more, now joined by one of the traders here in East London. Ma, tell us, speak, Amanda Fan. Mama, it's a journey when I lend a lockdown in a community with Tengisa, a fruit in a veg. Who in the market is it? They've been asking for the market to go lost land, go lost in and the market is KG. A kayas banin to kufa about twelve. Says the pain in that can be lost sea and moon to bed. Yapella and there's a market in Oko. At a circulating, we made us a saint in the Kaukala, Bacon Sting Sanga Yung. In Gaba Mama, a person in the Lagosa Mos Pilis and Ionga Pandleco, Tingisa Oku, a leverage and a lefruit. Aiko, and in the Lenos Pisangayo, Basang and Wasm Sibins, or Gonda Tings Fruit in a veg, or Cosang and Pange. A lumber where Corona Mama was Balsal and Dunga, Lunga Canal was a lacon life. I and Cardinal was in Kulungoba, and Nazo ne mask, and Nazo ne clouds. The thing of why my door tenga is as a zent. Okay, Mama, Sabulela Kulunga Koshala. Well, there you have it, Nombu, one of the residents here, in, one of the traders here, to buy her bulk supply from this area, from this fresh produce market. She says that it's been hard ever since that ever since this lockdown came into place. She says that she doesn't know how to feed her family. But to tell us from, from the government side, I'm now joined by the mayor of the Buffalo City Metro, Oala Pakati. Sir, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you very much, uh, Abongile, and uh, good afternoon to the viewers. You heard her saying her cries. Um, what are the municipality's plans in order to assist informal traders here in the, in the area? Well, uh, informal traders are the hardest hit by this uh, lockdown because they live from hand to mouth. And for them, it's uh, been very difficult. However, it has not been uh, said that... Uh, People shouldn't be able to sell food, but uh, in, not in public spaces, because remember, this is a lockdown, and everybody is expected to be at home. Um, dealing with this COVID-19 in, here in the municipality, how, what plans have there been in place um, in terms of it's particularly small businesses, small enterprises? Well, we are coordinating uh, together with the National Department of Small Business we have submitted our list of informal traders in the city, hoping that there will be some form of assistance from them. But also the Department of Social Development is providing some food parcels for those who relied heavily on, uh, on informal trading. In terms of, this is an informal sector, in terms of hygiene, um, water plays a really huge part in this area. And um, the last time I checked, the last time we spoke, the water levels were on 40%. Has there been any, any, any increase now in terms of water since there will be a great need for it in order to combat this virus? We have suspended the water restrictions that we have imposed as a city because of the uh, COVID-19 outbreak. 
we want to ensure that all our people have access to water and sanitation. And additional to that, we are providing tanks to villages around the city to ensure that those who do not have access to water are assisted. Um, there's been a huge challenge of panic buying here around the country. How has the metro been dealing with that, especially in, this, in, this, in these times? Well, we are discouraging, uh, we are discouraging uh, panic buying. Uh, this uh, fresh produce market is providing an essential service uh, to that effect in terms of the distribution of food. And we are encouraging our people not to do panic buying because we want to ensure that everyone has enough to eat. Sir, I thank you very much for your time. Well, there you have it, Nompu, the mayor of the Buffalo City Metro, Paula Pakati, explaining to us the plans that they have. Well, for these informal traders, it might be a little bit too late because some of them claim that they are their veggies and, and fruits have been already been confiscated by police and the soldiers since the inception of this lockdown. From us here, me, Abongile Yankees, and Akobilo Vena behind the lenses, it's back to you in studio.